talk me through that run. Uh, yeah, it was tough. Uh, A1 got a pretty decent start. We just kind of fell back towards the end. Like I was saying earlier, it's just super difficult track, so just put a five-minute run in and kind of wasn't able to. A2 was a little better, put in a really solid drive, but not a lot of mistakes out there, so settled with the six. And then A3, just kind of the same thing. Like, got going, there was some chaos, got up there a little bit. I got caught up in some of the chaos, fell back, so it was just an up-and-down battle out there, but we fought till the very end. It was a super difficult track. Congrats to Tater on the win. Um, congrats to Angaro on the full drive stuff. Congrats to Spencer Rifkin. He got you know second in both classes at his home track. A lot of pressure coming in, um, you know, especially for him because he dominates here. And I thought he did a hell of a job holding his own out there. So overall, a great week. The guys at Hobby Action did an amazing job. I did my best out there. At least third in one of the one of the mains. Um, and uh, yep, off to the next. Hey, what is next for you, Ryan? Uh, I'm not really sure. We got some testing to do in California, and then for sure the AMS race, some A scale races, and uh, I don't know. We'll throw a couple more 10 scale races in the books this year, I'm sure. But yeah, always something to do, that's for sure. No doubt. And I got to ask real quick, touching on Angaro, obviously you can wheel 8th scale and 10th scale, but to be a champion in the same calendar year, can you, can you speak to that? Yeah, I mean, he's obviously um, probably the best guy out there right now, especially in both cars. Um, and it, you know, it's cool. He's he's a nice kid. You know, him and his dad are super nice people. They obviously work very hard. He's extremely talented. He's the first guy to have a world championship in A scale and 10 scale. Also, the first guy to have two A scale world championships. So that speaks to his talent. Speaks to their dedication. Um, so and like I said, they're nice people. So you can root, it's easy to root for him. So um, and for him to come here, he's never been to this track. He just showed up and did what he did. Very impressive. Um, so yeah. Uh, I don't know, uh, hopefully I can get an A-Scale World Championship before I'm done and kind of join him on that list. Um, but yeah, very impressive and uh, yeah, like I said, we got more to race, a lot more races coming up and we'll just go at it. Special thanks and shout outs as we wrap up. Yeah, special thanks to uh, Jason from J Concepts. Uh, he's really helped my 10-Scale program this year. Um, he's been the guy getting me my vehicles and parts I need. Obviously, all my bodies and tires accessories. Techno RC this year has been awesome, supporting me through all my A skill stuff and my 10 skill stuff. So, um, Hobby Wing, Aiming Hobbies, Pro Tech, everybody that supports me. It's been a, it's been a really good year. Um, it's kind of weird having your world championship at your home track. I've never experienced that, so a lot of weird emotions coming in. But afterwards, it was good. I, I took it in. I enjoyed it. Um, a lot of previous world champions here, like Cliff Lett, Jake Halsey. Um, it was cool to see those dudes, so great week, great week.